Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on PIP or Picture in Picture in CyberLake Power Director 10 Ultra. Let's get into it. Picture in Picture just basically is what it is. Picture in Picture. You take one picture or video and place it in the frame inside of another video. As you saw in the demo, it's a pretty cool little thing you can do. So I'm going to drag this clip down into the timeline as my background. I'm going to drag this clip down into the timeline in the next video track. She says picture in picture. Now as soon as you pull it down here, you'll see that you have the crosshairs to tell where the middle of it is. And then you have these, which you can move to change the size and create the picture in picture. That's simply really easy to do. The more videos you lay down underneath or as overlay videos, the more you can put in here is really limitless. You can do as many as you want. As long as you have room to fit them on the screen, you can make as many things as you want. You can also move the videos across the screen. You can add masks to them. You can add borders to them. It's a lot of cool stuff, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Since I already have this video selected, I'm going to click on Modify. Once you do, you have some options here. The first option is the properties of the PIP effect so if I wanted to I can apply a chroma key to it I'm not gonna do that I can apply shadow if I did apply the shadow I can click on that and it'll bring up the options for the shadow so right now you really can't see it but if I move this this way you see a little bit of a shadow on there coming off the video not a big thing to do you change the distance of the shadow you can change the blur and you can change the transparency of the shadow. Change the color of the shadow if you want to. All kind of good stuff. I'm going to take that off. You can also apply a border. If I click on that and then I click on apply border, you'll see a little black border around it. I can change the color of that if I wanted to. I can once again change the size. Add a blur to it, add transparency, and on this one you can actually make it a gradient color. So if I wanted to start off with like silver as one color, and then make the last color like uh, white, let's say, then I could do that. And right now the gradient's going up, but I can change it to down where the silver's on top and the white's on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add one, but I'm just going to make it all silver. A little border on there. I'm going to click close. Now, you can also flip the object upside down, left to right, do all of that good stuff. You have maintain aspect ratio. You can use that if you want to drag it and, and like just drag it sideways or up and down. I'm not going to do that. Next, you have the motion. So you can add or edit motion to it. Right now, it doesn't have a motion on it. Let's say I wanted to add one. Let's go ahead and do this one. It goes across the screen. So right now I brought it down to the bottom of the screen because that's where this is at. But I do have the option to move it. Now if I go over here and I change the and of course the crosshair is changed to black, it's gonna move the green line, which is the path. I don't want that. I'm gonna leave it white so it will actually move the effect. I'm gonna move it more towards the middle of the screen. And if I press play, you'll see it go across the screen. Now this, as you can see, the arrow keeps going, so it goes all the way across the screen. Now, what if you wanted it to stop in the middle of the screen, or you wanted it to stop somewhere else? Well, you can make that happen. So, in order to do that, you actually have to change up your keyframes a bit here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some keyframes. So, I'm going to actually see this last one here I'm gonna to go to this keyframe I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna to go to this next keyframe and I'm going to remove it now I'm going to play it forward to it gets right in the middle of the screen or somewhere near the middle where I like it to be 
and that looks good right there and I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe so I know that this keyframe is now in the middle I'm going to go to the last keyframe and I'm going to click on duplicate and I want to duplicate the previous keyframe for that now it doesn't go off the screen anymore now it goes right to the middle and stops so if I play this It's going to see it go right to the middle of the screen and it will stop there because the last keyframe and the middle keyframe are in the exact same position so it'll stop now if you wanted to speed that up you could do that too the way that you can speed it up is you could just click on the keyframe drag it over to an earlier part in the video and you can do the same thing with the last keyframe usually if it won't let you, then you could just move another keyframe or set up, make another keyframe where the other one is. So let me see if it'll let me move it over. Oh, well, so what I'm going to do is just add a keyframe. I'm going to click on duplicate keyframe. I'm gonna duplicate. I could duplicate the previous or the next. This one because they're both the same exact position. So now you'll see. I can drag this over a little bit. Now you see when I click on play, it's going to move across the screen a lot faster. So we'll go back to the beginning. And I'm going to play this. Moved real fast that time. So, we'll click on save. And we're good to go. That's it. Now let me show you one last thing on here. I'm going to click back on this again and click on modify. If you go to the motions. See, there's a lot of different motions to choose from, and you can manipulate the keyframes on any of these to make it do basically whatever you want it to do. It's not hard at all. Another thing that we have on here is we have the mask. So if I click on mask, and I'm going to scoot this over so you can see, you'll see that there's a lot of different options for mask. So the mask basically will put whatever shape or whatever you want onto the video that you're using for the picture in picture and you'll see all these different options that you have a whole lot of different options for this as well and you can change the transparency of the mask if you want to and of course once again if you click on uh, maintain aspect ratio you uncheck that you can actually move around the parameters of the mask change it up make it different I can do whatever with it now. It's not any specific aspect ratio on it. Pretty much that's it. How to use PIP or picture in picture in Cyberlink Power Director 10 Ultra. Do me a favor. You know what I want you to do. You already know it. Click on the thumbie, the like button, the thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Just click that like button. Also, leave me your comments. You know I love your comments. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. I always do. If I can't answer you, I will find the answer for you and point you in the right direction if I don't have the answer. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.